Time now for Better Money Boston here with Joel Johnson. He's managing partner at Johnson Brunetti. In this economy, layoffs, there's still a reality here for us, Joel. What should we be thinking about? What steps to take if we are laid off or forced to an early retirement? Yeah, well, the first thing is don't panic, right? We don't want to panic. You know, everything usually is going to be okay. For the most part, in this part of the country especially, we sort of have this culture of savings. And typically when somebody gets laid off, there's two types of people. There's one that are real young in their career, maybe in their 20s and 30s. And that's when you need to kind of find another job pretty quickly, typically. But if you're over 55, maybe 60 years old, typically it's time to look back and assess, hey, what's my financial situation? Can I even afford to retire, maybe? If you're forced to retire due to an early retirement plan or some type of program that's available at your at your uh, particular workplace you know what is my financial situation because a lot of people miss that they just get into that emotional state of oh my goodness what am I going to do assess your finances okay I like that so don't panic take a step back and look what's the next thing we should be thinking about well the next thing you want to think about is hey what about those big costs in retirement because it's really can I afford to stay retired or can I afford to not have maybe as stressful of a job so what are the big costs we could be facing health care is one of them Healthcare is a really big deal. Fidelity did a study a while back. If we have a couple that goes into retirement, typically they're going to spend about $300,000 on healthcare costs over their lifetime. So we've got to look at this. What are you going to do about healthcare? If you retired before age 65, Medicare is not available. So what can I do to take care of that gap. Absolutely. Probably a great time to find a trusted advisor, too. Yeah, it sure is. Most people should be working with a financial advisor. Not everybody. Some people can do this on their own, but for the most part, and especially wealthy people, they tend to rely on financial advisors to make sure, number one, they're on the right track and that they're thinking about things the right way. It's important many times about the way we approach things, the way we think about things, much more so than just the tiny little details. It's our thinking that has to be examined. And you have a free book on this topic. Yeah, we sure do. I wrote a book called Forced to Retire. And what we talk about here is these are the seven decisions you've got to make if you're either forced to retire or you get the option to retire early. What are the bases you have to cover to make sure you're going to be okay financially? Get it today. It's free. BetterMoneyBoston.com. That's BetterMoneyBoston.com.